Hi, okay, I'm going to do a video of the Boba X carrier, which is this one here. Just show you the Lego Boba X. Great carrier, versatile from a newborn to um, preschoolers. It has adjustability on the panel via this strap, which you can pull down and release in order to lengthen and shorten the panel. It has perfect fit adjusters on the strap here, which is this um, strap here, which pulls upwards and we can release it downwards and what this will do is extend the length of the actual shoulder straps. It has adjustability on the waistband here via Velcro underneath here which you can extend and retract depending on the size of your baby. It can be used in a rook strap or H strap position or it can also be used in a cross strap on your back. It does have a hood um, and a zip compartment to keep the hood in. The, zip, the hood is removable. Um, which is this one here. I have actually removed it for the purposes of this video because I feel like it's a little bit bulky around here and you can't see very well what's happening. And one of the little thing that it does come with is some little panel extenders. It has a zip on the outer edge of the panel here and when baby gets bigger you can basically zip that extra section in, it pops it underneath the waistband and it extends the panel even further for a larger child. Okay, so I'm going to pop this on now. So I'm going to hold it like this, fold it, pop it round, and clip it in. Like so. I'm just going to make sure it sits on my sort of natural waist so that the baby is going to be placed roughly here on my torso. I don't want it too low so the baby's down here and equally too high so the baby's up underneath your chin. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my baby. Now this baby is roughly a, I'd say about a four to five months, six month size baby. Um, and it's dressed in layers rather than any thick snow suits or thick padded coats and cardigans. Okay, so pop baby onto your chest and just let them sit centrally on the waistband. Bring both their arms up and let them rest against your chest. Okay, it's worth spending a few seconds just trying to get them really central on the panel, otherwise the material can go to one side more than the other and it's tricky to adjust. Okay, so I'm going to slide the panel up over their back and I've pre-clipped in the chest strap so that I can get it on over my head. Pop my arm in, and then I'm up there. So I'm just going to just push that, make sure the arms up, just push that strap as far back as you can. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is tighten. So you can see I've got this strap here at the back. Now I find it easier to pull this strap forwards. Now there is another strap here which is quite short because I've shortened it, but you can release that and, and pull it backwards as well, but I find it easier to use this back strap to tighten it. So that's on that side, and then you can see it here, and just pull it forwards. Okay, so I've also got my chest strap here, and I'm just going to tighten that up a tiny bit as well. Okay, so baby's now in, just going to make sure and do a few safety checks. So I'm going to make sure that both their hands are up, that they are have, you can get a good two fingers worth of underneath the chin and the chest that they're not slumped down inside the carrier. This will be made better by making sure that the carrier is nice and snug and tight. Um, we normally say wetsuit tight, swimming costume tight, bandage tight. So if you lean forwards, your baby should basically stick to you. If it's baby swings away from you, then it's not tight enough and you need to tighten it up a bit more. Okay, so the material should be nice and straight on their back. As I said, hands up, gap underneath the chin. And just to make sure down here that the legs are sitting, that they're not overly splayed like this and equally that they're not dangling down too low and that they're just sitting comfortably into each side. If you feel that baby has gone a bit flat or star shaped against you when you pop them in, maybe just wait a few seconds till they, till they relax. And then what you can do is if you slide your hands inside, basically around their hips and just tilt their pelvis, so it's a motion like this where you slide your hands in and you tilt them towards you. What that will do is it will drop their bottom down and bring their knees up and it gives them a nice sitting position within the carrier. We don't like carriers to be up any higher than the top of baby's ears. Obviously, if you went for a walk and it was really cold, 
you could pull this up a little bit higher but baby's protected with their hat anyway so where it's sitting there is a nice position for this baby hands are up and that's basically what it looks like okay to get baby out um i'm able to reach the strap on the back so i would just release that and then i can take my arm out take my arm out take baby out place baby down somewhere safe and then i can take the, the carrier off and then back to where i started from okay now i'm just going to try it one more time with a crossed strap just to show you how that works so i'll just open up the strap here just undo the straps okay so what i want to make sure is i'm just going to release this strap a bit here so that it's nice and long and on the side yeah so that i'll be able to reach it because otherwise i may not be able to reach it when i put it on so i'm going to release that there Okay, so now I've got a nice long strap here and a long strap here, perhaps a tiny bit more. Otherwise, I won't be able to reach the buckle when I'm reaching behind. So, exactly the same. Put the carrier on, clip it in. Now, this time, because I haven't got any of the straps clipped in, I've got it basically hanging down like this. I'm going to pick baby up again. Do exactly the same, maybe on the waistband. Okay, slide the panel up. Now this time I'm going to put one of the straps over my shoulder. Just push it up as far as you can go. Swap hands, reach behind, grab hold of the strap, give it a good pull downwards, then bring it round. And you can see here that the clip is here. It can help, this hand can help to get hold of it. Clip that in and just pull it backwards a tiny bit. We can tighten it again more. Same on this side, lift your strap up as far as you can, swap hands, reach behind, pull, baby, pull the strap downwards towards the floor, bring it round. Now you'll notice here that there is a little bit of um, elastic, normally you would be able to slide that in there but for the purposes of me undoing and buckling I'm just not putting it into that elastic bit at the moment. Pop that in and again just start to pull backwards. Just get those hands up. Okay. Now some people just find this easier to do when you're wearing on your front. To tighten it up, I'm going to just lift from there. Come round. You can see there I've got some slack in the material in the strap. I'm just going to tighten that up. Lovely. Same on this side. Up. Bring it round, and that feels quite snug. So ultimately, it is the same. Baby's in the same position, but on your back now looks like this and it's crossed over. So it's just versatile that you can use it either way. To get baby out on this time, you would unclip here, unclip here, let the panel drop down, slide your hand inside, get hold of baby, let the panel drop down. Now you can either, you may be able to undo it without actually taking baby, putting baby down, carrying down. Okay, thank you.